Now, studying for classes and exams can be stressful at the best of times. But during a pandemic, learning in the place where you live, eat and sleep can clearly add to the pressure. In Belgium, they've come up with a way to give students some much-needed study space while also filling empty tourist attractions. Joe Gill tells us more. It is one of Belgium's most picturesque places normally teeming with tourists. But due to coronavirus, some of its iconic buildings lay empty. The famous Belfry, an imposing tower which dates back to the 13th century, is now opening its doors to students cramming for exams. It's the first time that the building will be used as a study hall. We received a lot of signals from students um, that they are really in need of a place uh, where they can study collectively uh, because uh, after 10 weeks of lockdown, for a lot of them, being at the same desk uh, on the same chair, that's too much. Uh, on top of that, uh, some students don't have a quiet place to study at home because mom and dad are at home or brothers and sisters, all due to the corona measures. The UNESCO World Heritage Site can admit up to 200 students. Priority is given to people who are most in need of a calm environment. We ask to uh, only um, apply to this uh, collective study place if you really have no alternative at home. Uh, because normally we have more places where students can study collectively, like in the library or in the youth hostel. But now all those places are closed, of course. While lockdown restrictions have weighed on most areas of life, the effects appear minor for these students. But the exceptional surroundings of the pop-up study hall do seem to have made an impression. It is uh, actually heel mooi here. It is uh, als je een keer rondkijkt hè, uh, naar het dak en zo. Het is echt heel leuk om hier te studeren. Maar je bent bezig met de boeken en met je leerstof. For some working in this former covered market, it could even improve their chances. Ik studeer het gewoon zoveel beter dus. Op een of andere manier zou het wel beter moeten lukken dan. The class of 2020 knows they're graduating at a moment of historical disruption. But in the present, hitting the books is the only thing on their minds. Joanna Gill, Euronews.